Welcome back. Episode 2 of my Let's Play of Minecraft. Um, oh, holy cow, a bunch more stuff. But there's going to be mobs around because it's nighttime. And that happens. So I'm guessing that every time I respawn this handy dandy little um, chest refills with stuff. So I decided what I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do um, in terms of uh, playing the game. Um, I'm gonna... I can't even go caving. Because... I can't go caving because I don't have any coal. I want to stay down out of there. can't even tell what time it is. Where's the moon? Where are you going, moon? It's not even midnight yet. Ah, dang it. This happened because I left... Oh, skeleton creeper! Oh, no! I didn't mean to go into third person there. Basically, I just need to... Oh, you know what I can do? I can pillar up. I can definitely... I can definitely pillar up. go right here oops dang it hello mr. zombie Stupid thing. As soon as I get a chance, I need to check my audio. Because I have a feeling you can't hear me very well. Oh, don't you dare, Mr. Skeleton. Okay. Hopefully, being in the menus right now is not a bad thing. I'm going to turn the music completely off. Put the sound down at 5%. There we go. Okay. My neighbors are being really loud right now. So getting getting a actually another thing I'm gonna do. Notice I've got my brightness up all the way right now. It's a big ol' hill over that way. 
that I'm going to want to go to once I get some stuff and can actually do things. I suppose, oops, I suppose, let's see. I'm going to need some tools and stuff. Okay. I am going to need to get some food while I'm doing things. And... Come on. No. There we go. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to need to go and chop down some trees and stuff as well. There's umbles over there. You can see it's starting to get light. The sun's going to come up right there. Sunrise over the desert. There's that lava pool right there that I was originally going to when I found the temple over there that blew me up because I'm stupid. There's the hill that I want to go up other stuff I can kind of get an idea of what things look like right now hopefully soon we will see the beautiful sight of mobs burning I know there were some zombies up here there's one there was one down there I think I, I either see cacti or creepers down over there might be some over here there's a creeper there I think I might be all set yeah I think everything's burninating the countryside so I My neighbor's kids are screeching outside right now. I kind of can't stand my neighbors. Ah, oh, I don't want to be in third person. I'm a Scotsman. Up, oh, up the kilt. <laughs> okay, so I need to, one, equip my sword because I'm going to be looking for some food. I have some raw stuff right now. Hopefully there's some some coal on the surface over here in these I'm not going to bother killing the sheep because that doesn't make a difference. There's a little cave that I could go. Oh, this is where this is where that creeper blew up in the last episode that should have killed me. But it didn't. There was a whole bunch of coal in there. I had a whole bunch of coal on me when I got blown up in the temple. But I remember... Ooh, out, fall damage. Some cows. Thank you for your beef. There's got to be some coal somewhere. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, I trapped ya. 
dead. All right. I think I found coal over here at one point. And if worse comes to worse, I can build a... F no, I can't because I don't have any stone. Crap. I can't do that. Okay. I was going to say, worst comes to worst, I can make some charcoal, but I can't do that without a furnace. I could remedy that by actually digging some stone, which I should probably do. Because I do need it. And look at that. I found myself some coal. So this is good news. Finding coal is good. Good, good, good. So my, my aim in this is you know, to, to explore the world and, you know, just find a bunch of cool stuff. But, um, before I do that, the things that I need to do, um, so one, I need to gather resources and I also need to build myself a base. Ah, you stupid, you big stupid And I want my base to be somewhere with a good vantage point. Somewhere where I can kind of look out and see things. Decide where I want to go. And I'm pretty sure I, my map got blown up, but I never even checked it. Um, so I'll need to get some paper and redstone if I want to do anything with that. Um... Let's see. I'm going to go up here. I'm thinking... Because the, the desert... Now I'm all turned around. The desert's back over there. So, first what I need to do right now is... Build a furnace. And... I need to cook up some food because I'm my hunger's getting real low. And you know, I'm actually thinking that this might just end up being my base right here. So, yeah, I'm going to make this my base. So I'm going to start clearing the area where all my food cooks. Get myself some more wood. That way I can kind of start building a house. Man, my neighbor's kids are so freaking loud. Got a bunch of snowballs I can throw at things. There we go. Got all the snow cleared. Um, probably just gonna back now, I do have a reason for chopping down trees the way that I do I leave myself a little platform 
to chop from, chop upward on. Hey, it's snowing. Look at that. I hate snow. I mean, in real life, I don't like snow. <clears throat> so how high... I probably need to go three high. Let's see. So one, two, three. And hopefully that will um Oh, I need food. Take my take my food oops chow down real quick got my haunches back back come on why am I bad at things so Do that. Grab my dirt. I got a jaw of dirt. There we go. I've got my corners up. Um, let's see. More wood. Um, I'm gonna take that. And let's see. Let's see. My torches. And move my torches down to here. Kind of illuminate my area here. Because I want to be able to see. So, let's see. What can I start to build my walls out of? I'll just start with dirt for now. I mean, I've got, I've got plentiful dirt, plenty of dirt. I can just dig this away. put my my house up on a little bit more of a pedestal and complete my temporary walls okay I've got 28 dirt now This is a really just ramshackle house.
Oh, there's more wood. Don't want to lose that. Okay. I'm going to do that to leave myself a way out. I'm realizing those torches aren't going to work how I want them to. So, place those in here. Did I lose it? Ow. I realize I played this game kind of recklessly. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to need more dirt. Okay. Why can't I stack my snowballs? I don't know. Okay. So, I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to start digging down right here. There. Okay, there I've gotten to stone, so I need to use up this pick, but first, I need to do that. Oh, hooray, gravel. Gravel can be useful. I know that from, dang it. Where's my dirt? This is a jaw of dirt. There. That, das ist Wetter. Turn and go this way. Gravel can also be dangerous. Which is why... Ack. Ack. There. That worked. What I'm going to do... Now that I've gotten all the way down here, is, let's see, try to dig all this out. Uh, 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 I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole, I'm digging a hole, I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, I'm digging a hole. I know this is just thrilling video right now. Uh, 
I'm not farming this. I'm just, I'm clearing it out. Because there may be stuff hidden behind it. I've seen that happen in UHC before. Um, like on in Minecraft UHC. Where they'll be, someone will be, um, they come across a big vein of coal and they're, they start farming it for, um, they start farming it for flint, for arrows, and my shovel just broke. So I'm going to go back to the block of dirt. Okay, there's an outside. An outside block. You can tell because of the snow right there. It's just snow fun. Try to dig all this up. But yeah, I've seen it in um in UHC before where they're they're farming for um for flint for arrows. Um, because as we've seen many times, um, UHCs are won and lost on bows. So they'll be doing this, they come across a vein of it, and they're like, oh, I'm going to farm that. And then, like, behind it, they find gold or diamonds or something. And they're like, oh, stuff we need. Because in UHC, the, um, the only way to regen health is with uh, golden apples. And the only way, and for enchanting, which helps, you need diamonds, also diamond armor, diamond swords. Um, diamond picks can be useful if you're doing anything with obsidian or going to the nether. So I haven't decided if I'm going to go to the nether. I mean, if I'm just doing this map for for the sheer joy of doing it, um, then I probably don't need to, but I can, if I want to. But I can't go to the nether with, um, I can't go to the nether without arrows and without armor. And all that fun, fun stuff. There. So now I've trapped myself. And let's see. Gravel. Gravel. So what I'm going to do, go light this up over here. I am going to dig a garbage hole that I can put... Ack. And I fell in the garbage hole because I'm garbage. I'm just gonna... Ack! I'm just gonna barf it all down in there. Because I don't need it. And then I'll cover it back up with dirt or something. There we go. Now let's check my inventory. That's all the cobble I have. And look, more gravel. There we go. Got rid of all my gravel. There we go. So let's see. Probably right here is as good a spot as any to start going down again. Actually, let's go up and see if it's daytime. I hear spiders, 
but it is daytime. Whoa! I have a sword, what am I doing? Hey, I got some string out of the deal. And my health my health will regen because it will. I'll make these walls a little higher like this. There. Ah, dang it. One of the things I probably should do right now is eat. Ack. Ah, darn it. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, start chopping down some trees again. So generally when I'm chopping down a tree, there's always going to be stuff you can't reach from the bottom. So I always like to leave myself a little platform to get it. You chop in the middle of the tree. You go up as high as you can get to, and then you hop up on your handy platform. And my ax just broke. I don't want to chop down trees by hand. So I've got my stone axe now. I really hope this video is interesting for people. Like my Let's Play videos up through to this point um, have not been, um, have not gotten a lot of views on them. Um, I think the most I got was like 32 views so far on one of my videos from, uh, Life is Strange episode one, uh, which is really weird because my audio in that was terrible. I mean, it was like, it was too much game. If you know what I mean. It, the game audio was too loud. Which I don't know if you're experiencing that right now with this either. Um, because I haven't previewed this yet. I'm, I'm just going along, doing my thing. I think I see a pumpkin down there. Oh, whoa! Uh. Back. Jumping puzzles are the greatest thing in the world. I have to make an easier way to get up here. So the reason I'm cutting down all these trees is so that I can I can see out kind of see what I'm what type of area I'm dealing with what kind of biomes are where that sort of thing
back. So I was talking to one of my coworkers today about um, first person versus third person in video games. I I much prefer third person games to first person, with the exception of Minecraft. Um, Minecraft is like the only game that I can play first person and prefer it. If that makes any sense at all. Like, I like third person because with with first person games, I feel like there's a lot that I'm missing. And I'm not able to see as well around the character. Um, in Minecraft, it doesn't feel as as crucial to to be seeing everything. I mean, in some ways, it is. Oh, oodles of food down here. Yes. Kill all these pigs. This will be this will be good. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's um, with Minecraft, you just kind of go around, you do whatever you want, and oh, come on, am I even picking up pork? But um, like third person here, you can't see what you're mining, so there's really no point to third person view on this. And we're talking about certain games that just function better as first person. Like, a third person mode on it would not be useful. Like, um, like Left 4 Dead. But it, it, there's no way that game could work in, a th in third person. Um, Star Wars Battlefront that's coming out has both views option, both view options. First or third. And I'm I'm okay with that. Um, Skyrim and Oblivion, or not Oblivion, Fallout. I've seen I've seen both modes, and first person's definitely better on those. Ouch. Okay. So this is just a little. Yeah. Sun's starting to go down again. There is a lava pool here if I do decide to go to the nether. Oh, come on. There. I think... Which way did I come from? Crap. I'm lost. Wasn't the desert. There wasn't water involved. There's my house. I saw it. How can I even call that a house? There's no roof. I mean, how pathetic is that? Go back up my hill. Oh, hi, wolves. Oh, I almost attacked them. That would have been one of the worst things I could have done. Get. Okay. So let's cook up this beef, put that right there, and that's going to be the end of the episode, folks. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I don't know why I drug that out, but yeah. Join me again for episode three.